What is up, YouTube? What is up, Giants fans? It is your boy, Jay Dimes, and we're back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants banger. And if this is your first time watching, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you love Giants football. Now, let's get right into this one. So, we've seen all the tweets, we've seen all the reports. The New York Giants are going to be getting back some big-time starters, some big-time players on this team this week probably in the biggest game of the season for this New York Giants squad versus the Washington Commanders. We got Evan Neal, who's reportedly going to be back this week, going to be back into the lineup. Aziz Ojalari, reportedly going to be back into the lineup. We got Fabian Moreau, who based off the stats, has been one of the top 10 shutdown corners in all of the NFL, was a gem pickup for this New York Giants team early on in the season. He will be back. Tony Jefferson will be back. Daniel Bellinger, arguably before he got hurt, was playing as like the best rookie tight end in all of football, will be back this week versus the Washington Commanders. And it is at the perfect time for us start to start getting healthy. We're looking at this Giants team right now. They are 7-4. and four. They've yet to have a division win. Both division losses coming against the Dallas Cowboys. And we're looking at this, you know, this schedule, looking at the rest of the games that we have to play. It's, we're in the thick of things. I told you guys in, a, you know, a couple of videos ago, it is about to get real. And it's starting this week versus this Washington Commanders team. This game has... I don't really want to say bragging rights or anything like that, but it would help a lot if the Giants won this game. If you win this game, you have the Eagles right next up. You have the Eagles right next up. They are playing some great football. They are, record-wise, the best team in the NFL. You can't lock that in as a win. Then you have Washington right after the uh, Eagles game, which the Washington Commanders will be coming off of a bye. So they will be more healthy. It'll be more rejuvenated, more energized. And it will be, you know, a away game, a game on the road for the New York Giants after a rather win or loss versus the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. So the New York Giants, though, getting some of these players back, like a Daniel Bellinger, like a Zizor Lari, like a Evan Neal, it's going to help mightily, help mightily. Now let's break down it all. We're looking at this offensive line. We're looking at how they have fared this season. They've played better with Evan Neal slotted in at that right tackle spot. Without Evan Neal, you've seen it. The Giants offense has not been able to, you know, really expand out of the playbook, really, you know, break out big plays because they have not had the offensive line to hold up and do so with Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley handling in the backfield. Saquon Barkley is due for a big game with Evan Neal back. Evan Neal, before getting hurt in the Jacksonville, in the Jacksonville game, was having a good stretch of performances, in my opinion. Now, he's had those bad games like the Dallas Cowboys game, but, you know, he had started to ramp it up. He started to, you know, not get beat as much, and him being back is a major upgrade over a Tyree Phillips, a major upgrade over a Matt Pert. So, Evan Neal being back is huge for his development. It's huge for this Giants team. It's huge for this Giants offensive line, and it's huge for Daniel Jones, and it's huge for Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is not going to be able to run between those tackles like we've seen him do. Majority of his big big plays has came in between those tackles actually in my opinion so uh it's good that we are getting back evan neal nick gates is the guy i want to talk about a little bit he um is coming off a great game versus dallas his first game back in the um fold starting at the center spot a lot of people or a lot of things i've seen online is saying that nick gates might slide over to left guard with john feliciano most likely coming back as another uh starter that is going to be a uh, rumor to come back in this game so um we're looking at an offensive line of Andrew Thomas, Nick Gates at left guard, John Feliciano at center, uh, Mark Loomis at right guard, and Evan Neal at right tackle. Now, that is the offensive line that goes out against this tough Washington uh, front. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that offensive line uh, blocking for Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. Daniel Bellinger is also going to be back. Huge. Huge. Without Daniel Bellinger, this offense, you know, is nowhere near an offense that can get you know, those easy first downs, those third and shorts. Daniel Bellinger opens up everything for this New York Giants team. Before he got hurt, he was a big impact on this offense. We're looking at him in the receiving game. He's a guy that, you know, he's the safety valve for, uh, for Daniel Jones. He's a guy that you can just hit on those short passes. And he'll fight for those, you know, those easy yards. He'll fight for him and get those easy third and shorts. We're looking at him as a run blocker. 
he helps huge. It's huge. You know, him as a run blocker, he's a guy at the tight end position that he'll actually move some guys off that line and create some holes for Saquon. So Daniel Bellinger being back helps in the passing game, but I think it helps even more in the running game with Saquon Barkley. So Daniel Bellinger and Evan Neal are two guys on this offense that are rumored or are going to be projected to be back this week for this New York Giants offense that is in dear need of some offensive line help. Now let's jump to the defense. Aziz Ojulari will be back this week and what has me even more excited about him being back is his pairing with Kayvon Thibodeau, Dexter Lawrence, and Leonard Williams. This will be the first time we've seen these four guys on the field at the same time. Can't wait to see how this looks. Can't wait to see how this front looks with those four guys, you know, against this offensive line of Washington. I'm excited for that. Kayvon Thibodeau coming off an amazing game, coming off his best game as a rookie this season versus Dallas. Five QB hits, was just a disruptor all over the field. Looked it like a guy that took that was taken with the fifth overall draft pick for this New York Giants team. Kayvon Thibodeau, I was already high on him. I was telling people, you know, after the Detroit Lions game, chill out on Kayvon Thibodeau. He's not a bust. Chill out on him. And right after that, he shows why on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, why he is the fifth overall draft pick in this year's draft. So I'm excited for Kayvon Thibodeau and Zizo Delari being back in the fold, take some pressure off of Kayvon Thibodeau and just seeing how this defensive line looks with Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence controlling the inside and Aziz Delari and Kayvon Thibodeau on the edge. Can't wait to see that. Fabian Moreau, we already spoke on, he is going to be back Without Adore Jackson being on the field, without uh, Zayre McKinney being on the field, we need a we need Fabian Rowe back. We need Fabian Rowe back. I didn't think I would be able to say that this season when we signed him to the to the roster. I didn't think Fabian Rowe was gonna make this big of an impact, but he has been indeed a lockdown corner based off the of stats. And if you watch the games, he hasn't gotten beaten much when he's been on the field. So Fabian Rowe being back is huge. Going up against Terry McLaurin, going up against Jahan Dotson, and going up against Curtis Samuel, who are three wide receivers. That I think are pretty decent wide receivers. Terry McLaurin being a top 10 wide receiver, Samuel and Dotson being some decent wide receivers in the NFL. Uh, Tony Jefferson will be back, a veteran, has you know experience in this defense. But um, overall, man, I'm just excited that the Giants are finally getting some health, you know, finally getting back healthy, getting some of those starters back. The Giants were winning games because they had all of their players. When you started seeing the Giants lose games like the Lions, getting, you know, torched by Dallas, losing to Seattle, they were a banged up, injured team. They were, that's what made it so, you know, great that the Giants were winning games. So we're like, this team already is not a good team on paper, roster wise. They don't have, they have holes. But then when you start, you know, taking players away because of injuries, you're going to start losing games that you think you should win. So everyone who's been clowning the Giants, everyone saying the Giants were, you know, frauds or whatever, playoff frauds, look at the roster, look at the injuries that happened to this team during the season. And I can't wait to see how this team looks coming off of, you know, a two game skid versus Detroit versus Dallas, getting into the big time games of this season. Brian Dable saying the season starts now. Can't wait to see how this team looks with us getting back some big reinforcements like an Aziz Ojolari, like an Evan Neal, like a Daniel Bellinger and others. Can't wait to see it. But sound off in the comments your thoughts, how you feeling going, to be going into this playoff game versus Washington. But until then, it's been your boy Jay Dons and I am out. Go Giants.